Today we are going to demonstrate a field test method for measurement of free chlorine dioxide in water. This is a titration method and the reference code for this method sheet, should you need to request it, is FCM 035D. The UK Health and Safety Executive Guidance Document, HSG 274 Part 2, the control of Legionella bacteria in hot and cold water systems, indicates that for Legionella control, a free chlorine dioxide residual of at least 0.1 mg per litre should be maintained at the outlets. Specific control limits for your system will depend on a number of factors, including the application and any regulatory considerations. Contact your feedwater rep for further guidance if necessary. We generally advise that this method for free chlorine dioxide should be used in conjunction with the total oxidant method FTM 035A. Alternative methods are available for detection of free chlorine dioxide in water, including photometric and electrochemical. Test selection depends on cost, accuracy required, complexity of the method and ultimately suitability for your specific application. Your feedwater rep can help you choose the most suitable method. Before demonstrating the test, we would like to talk quickly about sampling. It is important to remember that chlorine dioxide is a gas and can easily be lost from water samples through agitation. So don't sample from outlets that spray the water into your container. Take the sample with minimal agitation. We recommend that you should fill your sample container until the tap end is submerged and then continue to overflow the container for several volumes. This can minimise the loss of gas caused by splashing. You should also cool if necessary as high temperatures interfere with the test. To cool, fill a clean sample bottle to the brim, cap it securely and then run cold water over the outer surface for a minute or two. Filling to the brim and capping the sample will prevent the loss of chlorine dioxide to atmosphere before testing. Sample bottles used for this test should not be treated with thiosulfate as this will neutralise any oxidants present. For this test you will need the following reagents. Feed water CDO1 solution and feed water chlorine dioxide VLR titrant. For most applications, we expect the range to be 0.1 to 1.5 mg per litre of free chlorine dioxide, so we would recommend using a 100 ml sample volume. If you're expecting higher or lower results than this, you may wish to opt for an alternative sample volume as shown. In this example, we'll be using a 100 ml sample volume. First, take the required volume of your sample. The number of drops of CDO1 solution required varies depending on your sample volume, as shown in the table. 15 drops are used for a 100ml sample. Add the specified number of drops of CDO1 solution as indicated in the reference table and swirl to mix. Add one drop at a time of the VLR titrant and swirl to mix. Keep adding drops until the appearance of the first blue tinge, making sure to count the number of drops used. The end point is when the solution goes from clear and colourless to clear with a permanent blue tinge. This can be subtle, so it is important to ensure that you carry out the test in good light, ideally with a light coloured or white background to check against. Look out for an end point that goes through a yellow-green before reaching blue. This can sometimes happen on high alkalinity waters and it can be the cause of inaccurate results. If the sample starts to go yellow, then green, throughout the titration, discard the sample and start again, this time adding an additional 10 drops of CDO1 buffer. Repeat until you see a distinct endpoint changing from colourless to blue. The chlorine dioxide concentration is calculated by multiplying the number of drops by the factor based on the table shown. For example, 10 drops of VLR titrant times by a 0.05 factor equals 0.5 ppm as ClO2.